got any barber in Pumpkin Center, so I always shave myself till Nancy got to using my razor to cut her corns with, and then I quit shaving and raised whiskers. <laughs> but Nancy cut my hair with the sheep shears, and after she got through with it, gosh, I was a sight. <laughs> I looked like an escaped convict or a fur coat that had molded, and Nancy cut it in all styles at once. Gosh, she would cut it pompadour on one side, single it on the other, and cut it curly behind, and she'd get hair down the back, cut me with the shears, and then fuss at me because I didn't hold still. <laughs> Well, to save myself torture, I took to wearing my hair long. Guess I'd be doing it yet, but for one thing, there was a show come to Pumpkin Center, and I guess pretty nigh the whole village went to see it. While well, there was a magic feller there, and he asked for someone to come up on the platform and help him, and like a darn fool, I'd done it. <laughs> oh, yes. I helped him a right smart. Well, that fella turned me around facing all the folks, and Nancy said it was just sinful what he'd done to me. He took a pack of cards and two bottles of whiskey out of my pockets, an old hen and a dozen eggs out of my hair, a rat trap, two rabbits, and a pigeon out of my whiskers. Gosh, I never felt so foolish in all my born days. <laughs> My face was so red, she was afeard my whiskers would take fire, while I was a laughing stock of the whole village. So I just calculate the first good chance I got, I was going to get my hair cut by a regular fiber. But I'd let a bird dog look over it first. Might be some more chickens in it. <laughs> so while I was in New York, I thought it would be a good time to have it done. While I looked all over New York, guess I'd been looking yet if a fella hadn't told me that Tom Sawyer Emporium meant barbershop. <laughs> Gosh, they do have the darndest names for things. While I went into one of them emporiums and told a fella what I wanted, and a whole crowd of them went to work on me. One fella went to blacken my boots. Another went to cleaning my clothes, and a gal went to whittling my fingernails, and the barber went to talking. <laughs> Gosh, how that fella could talk. He told me six funny stories, told me what boss would win the race, how the ball game would come out, what Congress is going to do, and who was going to be the next president, and what nation would win in the war, and then asked me if I wanted him to go over the chin again. <laughs> I told him I heard him the first time. He cut up my hair till he got tired, and then he singed me like a chicken. He asked me four times to have some bay rum, and when he couldn't get me to drink it, he put it on my hair. He shaved my whiskers in the middle and dyed them black, tied my head up in hot rags, and then turned a fuzz fan on me. <laughs> I never was so suited up in all my life. And when I got home, it was a full minute before Nancy knowed me, and for a whole week I was a stranger in my own home. Our dog tried to bite me, the horse kicked at me, the cow wouldn't let me milk her, and I couldn't get within gunshot of anything on the place. And when we went to church, the minister preached a sermon about Delilah, cutting Samson's hair, and everybody knowed he was hinting at me. <laughs> While the black had wore off my whiskers and my hair has rolled out, and yesterday I seen Nancy sharpening the sheep shears, so I suppose in a day or so I'll be looking natural again. <laughs>